Welcome friends to another r slash am I the jerk video. Before we answer some hard hitting questions, could you answer mine in could you hit the like and subscribe buttons down below? That said, our first story of the day is by Yunus Beg. Am I the jerk for allowing my stepson to call me dad? My wife, 39 year old female, and I, 36 year old male, got married and moved in together last year after three years of dating. She has a son, 15 year old male, with her ex-husband, 42 year old male. He was never harmful to any of them, but he used to be extremely cold, emotionally distant, and easily irritable. So my wife divorced him when the kid was 8. Since then, he's constantly tried to be involved in his life, but the child doesn't like him at all. He tries to make a man out of him, but the son's a huge softie, which is obviously an inherent incompatibility. He views his dad's approach as him not being accepting of who he is. I met the kiddo when he was 12. I'd already been dating my wife for a year at that point, and we both knew that things were going to get serious. So it was the right time. I instantly felt a connection to him. My paternal instincts spiked up. I'm sterile and I love children, which is an unfortunate combination. From that moment on, I started spending as much time with him as possible. The ex-husband really hated this and accused me of trying to steal his son. After we all moved in together, I started taking care of him full time basically, cause I work from home. I cook him breakfast in the morning, I pack him lunch, I drop and pick him up from school. I help him with his homework, we play video games together, work out, do sports, watch movies, listen to music, go on trips, etc. He talks with me about anything. I love him so much, I consider him my own son. This week, he came to me crying after a meeting with his dad. The father apparently started trash talking me and telling him things like, He's not your real dad, he's just a stranger. He's only being nice to you to get closer to your mom. He'll never see you as his own child, etc. The poor kid actually defended me in front of his dad. I hugged him tight and assured him that I love him more than anything and that he's definitely my son. He calmed down in the end and let me know that from now on, he wants to call me dad publicly and in front of everyone. He called me by my first name before. Cause I'm his male role model and a real dad and he loves, respects and admires me a lot. I told him okay, whatever he feels the most comfortable with. My wife's ex-husband called me yesterday to berate me for allowing this to happen. Saying that because of me, he'll never be able to rebuild the relationship with his son now and that I crossed some huge boundaries and I should be ashamed of myself for that. I think OP in this situation is not the jerk. They're married to the child's son, the child lives with them, OP takes care of them, spends time with them, builds them up, and like the own kid said, is a role model to this kid and loves them like their very own. So I think it's totally okay, I can understand the other dad feeling jealous or maybe even infringed upon, but it is what it is. Do you think OP's a jerk for letting their stepson in this situation call them dad? Let me know in the comments down below. This next story is by Funstake3167. Am I the jerk for leaving a child with a babysitter without the mother's permission and then being rude? I've been traveling for work for three months. I matched in an app with a woman who lives a few meters from my temporary apartment. After a few days of talking, we met a few times and she told me that she's a single mother. We're just hanging out casually and I wouldn't say we're friends, but we talk every day. Over the weekend, she showed up at my house with her daughter I had never seen before. It was a six-year-old girl. I was quite surprised and uncomfortable with this. Angela said she had an emergency at work and couldn't find a babysitter in time. We briefly discussed how awkward it was for her to just throw a child at my house. Angela started crying, saying that she had no support network and needed me. I thought that was kind of manipulative, but I agreed. An hour passed and the girl was quiet. I put a Disney movie on TV and started making dinner. I got a call from my boss asking me to go to the office. I was kind of desperate. I talked about having a kid at home and he said he could send a babysitter to my apartment. I sent a message to Angela. When the babysitter arrived, I told her that maybe Angela would come get the child. And I went to work. I worked for four hours and when I got home, only the babysitter was there. She said that Angela actually picked up the girl and I paid for the service. On Monday, Angela sent several messages saying that I was a jerk for leaving her daughter with a stranger and that she had entrusted the child only to me. I was extremely irritated and replied that I was also a stranger. 
I said, what kind of mother leaves a six-year-old girl with a guy she just met? I was immediately blocked on all social media. I vented to a few friends, and some said it's very impolite to question a woman's abilities as a mother. Am I the jerk? I think OP's not the jerk, and this is very much a hypocritical thing for the lady. Like, yeah, they had been talking with OP a little bit, but they didn't really know OP. To just blindly drop your six-year-old daughter off with this man that you have only been talking to a bit online, that you'd only met a few times in person? If you do that, I don't think you can complain too much when they invite an actual babysitter over and they watch the kid for a few hours. Like, surely, if anything, their level of care only stood to increase, right? Definitely questionable thinking. Our next story is by Technical Spread 1810. Am I the jerk for walking out of my sister's wedding after she tried to use me as free childcare? A few months ago, my 31 year old male sister, 29 year old female, announced that she was going to get married. The planning process took a while, but the date and the venue were agreed on. Now, my sister has a baby, one year old male, that just loves to cry. He cries all the time unless someone takes him outside for fresh air. So a few days ago, the wedding started. Because I was out of town, I missed the night before the wedding. Basically a get-together period for family members and a big party, but showed up for the ceremony and reception. The second I got there, my sister asked me to take the baby outside in order to calm him down. I agreed because the ceremony hadn't started yet, but she asked me to take the baby outside again a while later. When I asked why the baby didn't have a sitter, she said that they spent all the money on the ceremony and parties. I was kind of annoyed because I wanted to sit in on the ceremony, but just about everyone jumped on me telling me to do my sister a favor and that it was her day. I asked her about when I was expected to take the baby out for fresh air, and she gave me this huge list of times that basically meant I missed out on the important parts. I wouldn't be there for the exchanging of vows, the reception, the aisle walk, the readings, the kiss, etc. I figured out that in total, I would have about 30 minutes actually sitting inside. And the rest was just about the baby. When I pointed this out to her, she said someone would videotape it for me, but I wasn't convinced. I wanted to watch my sister reach a milestone, and that was what I came for. I told her that someone else could watch the baby for her, and that as her brother, I wanted to watch the wedding, and not have to miss her getting married. Again, she told me to just do it. I was really mad, but tried not to show it on the outside. When I asked about the reception, she told me, oh, you'll have to miss out. Baby's name needs to be outside and has to be fed. That was the final straw. And when my mother was holding the baby, I slipped out and just left. The next day I get a call from my sister and she's screaming about how I ruined her wedding and how the baby wouldn't stop crying. I told her that I left because she treated me like a babysitter instead of a guest or family member and said that it was her fault if she couldn't get a nanny or ask a friend to do it. Since then, I've been nuked with calls from family calling me selfish and telling me that I'm effectively disowned unless I apologize. I see no reason to. Am I the jerk? I definitely think OP's not the jerk here. If you're invited to a wedding, you're going to the wedding to enjoy the festivities, watch the events happen, not get stuck with the bride's kid having to stand outside while everything's going on during the entire event. And it might be a little bit selfish of me, but you have to miss the best part, the reception. It makes you feel like, why am I even here? You might as well give me a salary for all the work I'm doing. Our next story is by an anonymous poster. Am I the jerk for taking away the bra that my sister bought for my daughter? I, 35-year-old female, have a sister named Marcy, 35-year-old female, and a daughter named Jess, 14-year-old female. Jess and Marcy get along very well and they love hanging out together. About six months ago, Jess started telling me that she wanted to get some new bras. She told me that the ones she has now are too babyish. I've tried taking her shopping online and in person, but she never finds any that she likes. She always says that the ones I suggest are for little kids and she wants a woman's bra. Yesterday, Marcy and Jess were spending the day together. After Jess got home, I noticed that she had a plastic bag. Before I could ask her what it was, she quickly went into her room. My mommy senses were going off and I knew that she was hiding something. I went to her room and asked her what was in the bag. 
She tried to dodge the subject and come up with weak explanations. I ended up opening the bag and inside was a Victoria's secret bra. I was shocked because this bra looked like lingerie and it was obviously very sexy slash revealing. I demanded to know where Jess got the bra. She told me that her and Marcy went to the mall after getting lunch. Jess was going on and on about how I never let her get the bras that she likes. Jess pointed at Victoria's Secret and talked about how she always wanted a bra from there. Without hesitation or permission from me, Marcy just bought Jess the bra. I was furious that Marcy would buy my daughter something like this without talking to me. I went outside and called Marcy to get her side of the story. She basically told me that it was her money and she could buy whatever she wants. She also said that I was holding Jess back and treating her like a baby. I snapped and told her that she had no right to buy my daughter a bra like that without my permission. I eventually told Marcy that I would give her the bra so she could return it. She told me that she already got rid of the receipt so she can't get her money back. I told her that I would just donate it instead then. Marcy flipped out and demanded that I pay her back for the bra. I told her to screw off. I'm not paying her back for something that she had no right buying. Now Jess is giving me the silent treatment and Marcy blocked my number. Am I the jerk? Now, I must admit that I'm not very knowledgeable in this area of things. I would say though that it seems to me like the behavior that the mom's expressing here seems very controlling in a very not good way i don't really know for sure what's right or wrong here i'd be willing to bet though that what's going through the mom's mind and the daughter's mind are two very different things in regards to the intentions behind the whole situation what do you guys think is op being a jerk here is what happened here acceptable let me know and our final story of the day is by you are my problem am i the jerk for asking my husband to choose between his daughters I hope this post won't look messy. I'm so riled up that help me God. Me, female, 50, and my husband, male, 51, were married for 21 years. He divorced his pregnant wife to get with me, but he saw his daughter Kristen whenever he wanted. Later, I gave birth to our daughter Sasha, but my husband was cheating on me and we took a break. I forbade him to see our daughter. He missed her early years and now I think it changed everything. He doesn't treat Kristen, 21, and Sasha, 18, the same. Kristen is his number one thing. He comes running if she calls him and he can just drop everything if she asks. He pays for Sasha's education, but she just isn't his priority. He always talks about Kristen, it's always about her. Sasha feels it and it hurts her. I'm sure Kristen hates me for breaking her mom and my husband up. She always does things to rile me up. She calls my husband five times a day to chat, even late at night when she knows he's with me. She makes him spend a week and a month with her just chilling in his apartment. He never spends as much time with Sasha, and we live together. It's a victory if I manage to get us to watch a movie together. Recently, I learned that my husband left everything to Kristen in his will. She gets an apartment in his World War II collection when Sasha gets just one room in an old hostel building. Now there is a cat. Kristen already has three. There's no place for more. So she dragged one into my husband's flat. She's claiming someone threw him away and she just wanted to give him a home. That's BS. She's doing everything to keep my husband chained to his second flat, away from his other daughter and me. He now has to stay there to feed it. Kristen does it when he's not there, but now he has a reason to spend more time in his flat. And he keeps doing it. Kristen knew it would be like this. She did it on purpose, I'm sure. I asked my husband to give the cat away or we'd have a problem. He said he'd think, but he went and consulted Kristen. From what I got, she accused him of betraying that cat and stopped talking to him. My husband spent all night writing her apologies, and he told me he'd never get rid of the cat. He didn't even want it. Kristen brought it. It's just one more thing that keeps him away from his family. I finally had enough, and I told him to pick between Kristen and Sasha. He can't have two relationships at once. And if he cares about Sasha, he has to prove it and pick her at least this once. It was weeks ago. He refuses to give me his answer, and I keep feeling like I'm a jerk but then I get angry again. I know he loves Kristen, but maybe the threat to not seeing Sasha will make him realize he has another daughter who needs his attention. So am I the jerk for wanting my husband to focus on our daughter for a change instead of constantly running around his first daughter? I don't really even know which way to go on this one. 
I'm thinking both sides might be jerks in this situation. OP got with a married man, had a kid, and then surprise, when they were cheating on them, they alienated them from their daughter, which obviously didn't help the bond. On the husband's side, they probably don't give enough attention to one of their daughters, gives their firstborn a lot more leeway than the second one. Do you guys agree that it seems like a safe bet just to say that both sides are kind of jerks? I'd like to know your guys' takes. But with that being said, that's all the time we have for today. So of all these stories I've read today, which is your favorite and why? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't yet, if you could like and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Whatever you do, whether it's liking, subscribing, turning notifications on, all of it helps grow this channel and I appreciate the heck out of it. So until next time, I'll see you all tomorrow with some more stories.